Kaiser at the te capital of Texas. How we don't have any cupcakes in our airstream? Hey everybody, welcome to Zephyr's Travels. And in this video, we're going to share with you our trip to Austin, Texas. It's the capital of Texas. And we, in our trip, we went to the Capitol building and we went to South Congress Avenue and the LBJ Presidential Museum. And we also went to, where else we go? Oh, where we stayed. And while we were in Austin, we stayed at Bastrop State Park, and we'll show you a little bit of that in this video too. So we're gonna start out with uh, the Capitol building. That was pretty neat. Uh -huh. I mean, you, you got, they had a really nice grounds and we were able to take the dogs there. Mm -hmm. And you know, not into the Capitol not building. Not into the Capitol. <laughs> no, they didn't allow you to do that. But we were able to take them around the grounds and they had a lot of monuments and different things and it's there that you could walk around. are at the te capital of Texas. Didn't think you'd ever get there, did you? Right? Right. Interesting that we had the Confederate Memorial over there, and now we have the Afri African American History Memorial. There's different monuments around the outside of it. There's uh, World War II monuments and a fireman monument, and um, a lot of different ones that uh, we got to walk around and see. And then we, we went in and did a self-guided tour of the Capitol building. Um, and we kind of walked around that and saw the each part of the government. Um, they have, uh, I don't know, what, what is it? One is the um, state senate, and then the other is what? It's not the Congress, but what is it? House of, House of, House Rep of Representatives. House of Representatives. So you, you can go in there and you can go into the state senate side and you can go to the other side of the capitol building and see the House of Representatives. Um, there's a large rotunda in the center, which is, I think, I don't know how many stories up was that? Four or five or six? Mm -hmm. It was quite high. And then, it was quite high, yes. Yeah, and you can go all the different levels of that. Mm -hmm. um, you can go to the state Supreme Court building, or, or wing, I guess you would say. And, and in there they have all the um, governor pictures along the um, rotunda in the open area. So that was kind of neat. Mm -hmm. It was. It was fun to explore and go on our own tour. Yep. Yep. And then we went over to the LBJ Museum. Mm -hmm. So this would be Lyndon Baines Johnson. He was the 36th uh, President of the United States. And his museum is over on the University of Texas Austin campus. And that's that was kind of neat too. Yeah. I'm reminded of the story that Postmaster General told me about getting a letter from a little boy who had lost his father and his widowed mother was having difficulty making ends meet. And he wrote a letter to the Lord and said, Dear God, said, please send Mama a hundred dollars to help with the family. The letter wound up on the postmaster general's desk, and he was quite touched by it. And he, at that time, still had a little money left over from what he earned at Prudential. <laughs> so he took the twenty-dollar bill out of his pocket, and put it in the postmaster general's envelope, and mail stamp on it, and sent it to the boy. About two weeks later, he got a letter back, said, Dear God, said, much obliged for all you've done, said, it was great help, we appreciate it, but said, we need another hundred dollars. Said, if you don't mind, when you send it to Mama this time, don't write it to Washington, because it'd be up to 80%. <laughs> Here's Mrs. Lincoln. Mm-hmm. 
was a lot, it was very interesting as to, um, you know, see what he did while he was president and what crises he faced. Yep. Yeah. And for us who, you know, were kind of young at that time when he was president, you know, so we kind of lived through that, but it's not, you know, stuff that's current to us. So obviously that was, you know, really interesting to get to walk through that and see that. And, and it's a, a fairly impressive building. I mean, it's like 10 stories tall with, um, you know, the, the museum area on the, on the uh, lower level for most of it. And then they have the library in the middle and they have one area where you can see all the different levels of that and see the multiple floors in the library section. And then on the very top, they have a, um, a model of the Oval Office, the way it was set up for um, President Johnson. And then the First Lady's office, uh, uh, Lady Bird Johnson's office is set up there too. And those are both pretty neat to see. A lot of pictures and they, they kind of walk you through the different events that happened during his lifetime or during his uh, term presidency. of presidency. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, during his presidency, they, they walk you through the different events that happened, uh, um, Vietnam War, um, and you know his uh, humanitarian. Uh, you know he was very big on um, civil rights, and so that was you know during the '60s that was right to the the heart of the civil rights movement, and he was very supportive of that and a lot of other things too that that you just didn't know about that that you learned while you're going through there. Mm-hmm. It was very interesting to um, to look around and see everything. Yep. Yep. And then the other area of Austin that we, we went and visited a little bit was the South Congress area, which is kind of like the uh, the hip area. There's a lot of restaurants and shops, and, and that's where you see all the murals painted on the buildings and such. So, you know, as you drive up and down the street, you see, you know, like a mural of uh, Willie Nelson and other ones on the different buildings. And we did f search out and find the uh, greetings from Austin, Texas and got our picture with that. Um, that, that was kind of neat. Well, here we are. Greetings from Austin, Texas. Where are you? Get over here. Here we are. Greetings from Austin, Texas. You standing on your tippy toes? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, okay. All right. I always want to get a picture in front of this. And when we walked into a, a cowboy hat shop and a boot shop mm -hmm. and some other different shops. And what, what did we find while we were there that you liked? Cupcakes. Cupcakes. Yeah. Cupcakes being sold out of an Airstream trailer. Yep, an old vintage Airstream trailer and they were selling cupcakes out of it, which was I thought was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. So we got ourselves cupcakes while we were there. Yep. How's your Airstream cupcake? Good. Good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here's mine. <laughs> And they were delicious. Yeah, they were. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, they were. They were very good. Um, and then while we stayed there, we stayed at what campground? Bastrop. Was it, was it a national park? State park. State ba park. Bastrop State Park. Mm -hmm. And that is about 32 miles east of Austin. And it was just like one of those uh, lucky things that we found it. We were... Um, on our way into Austin and we needed a place for the night to stay and we looked at one of the camping apps and it came up with the state park was right, right where we were. We pulled in and was able to get a spot for the night that night and ended up really liking it so we kind of rearranged our schedule a little bit to come back and we spent a week there. Mm -hmm. and, and it's pretty interesting to look around there because the state park had a forest fire in 2011 that wiped out most of that area. And so really what you're seeing now is how the forest is kind of coming up and regrowing. There's been a lot of new trees planted, um, a lot of new growth. Um, and so they have a lot of nice hiking trails and biking um, roads and such that you can go about and you can see the park. And so we did a hike, we did a few hikes. The dogs, I did one hike one day and you and I did a hike um, mm -hmm. too. Um, they also have guided tour hikes from with a ranger that will walk you through it and we did our bike rides around there and went up the top of the hill mm -hmm. that It's was, that was fun. Yeah, it's it's uh, It's really hilly. It's not the flat Texas area that you would think it's a very hilly area and very very scenic mm -hmm. no. Yeah, we really enjoyed staying at this park. Yeah, and the campsites were all nice. They were 
the section we were in, um, the second time we were there, they were all pull-through sites and they were all parallel with the main road. So you just kind of pulled off in a little loop and parked your trailer and they had full hookups and you had great views off the side because they're all on an elevation um, that you could look out and about. Uh, so I, I, I really like that. The other area, they were all more back end sites and they were down in a little bit of a um, valley area. Mm -hmm. um, but they had nicer they had nicer trees there, bigger trees and such in that section. And Bass Stop is a nice area too because there's a lot of um, a lot of stuff there to, you know, like restaurants. Um, we found a barbecue place there. Um, and, you know, a lot of the commercial chain type restaurants and there's grocery stores and then the town's kind of historic and interesting to go to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a nice place to stay. Yep, and they even had a uh, coin operated um, car wash that you could take the Airstream through. And so we watched the Airstream <laughs> while we were there too yep. before we left, so, which was mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it was a really nice area and we enjoyed staying there and going through, going and exploring Austin. Yep. Yeah, and it, you know, it's 32 miles, it's all highway, you know, you know, Texas um, roads are, the speed limits are 65, 70 miles an hour most of the way. So, you know, you get to Austin in no time and it comes, you basically can come in from a, a south area and get, get on to um, I-35 and go anywhere into Austin from there if you want. So it was really easy to get into Austin from that place and, and we found it very convenient. We definitely would go back. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, if you're in Texas, definitely check out this Texas State Parks. They seem to be very nice and, and you know, have full hookups and everything, too. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, we really like the Texas State Parks. If you've ever been to a st Texas State Park and there's one that you like, put a comment down below and, and we'd love to hear from you and, and know someplace else in Texas that we can go check out the next time. Mm -hmm. um, we'd appreciate that. And, you know, if you like this video, definitely give us a thumbs up. It really does help. Um, share it with your friends and subscribe and be part of the uh, Zephyr Travels Posse and hit that bell for notifications so that you know when we post new videos. Yep. And we will see you down the road. Bye everybody. Thanks Bye. for watching. Okay. How'd you think we did? I don't know. Look at it. See what you <laughs>